By the end of this video, you are going to learn how to make God particles or God rays. Uh, as seen here in my upcoming 2D Metroidvania, Iron Diamond, which you can wishlist on Steam. I will send a link in the description. Uh, this, these particles can be made with no fancy plugins, uh, nothing extraneous that you need. All, all you need is the traditional particle system. They can be applied to both 2D and 3D scenes. Right here, it's obviously a 2D scene, but uh, it's fairly straightforward to apply it to a 3D scene. So let's jump right in and see how it's done. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is bring a new object into our scene. We're going to call this God rays. And we want to add a particle system. So it uh, oh, looks like I was already typing this. So we can click this. Now you're going to notice that there is pink squares coming out of the center. Um, okay, before we actually do that, first let's make sure that the position is uh, at the right Z index that you want it to be at. Uh, X and Y are where we are right now, so that's fine. Rotation, you want to make sure that you haven't rotated in any weird way. <clears throat> Now, coming back to the pink squares, the reason we have that is we don't have a material set. So uh, this actually is a default material that Unity uses, uh, some pink square. Um, I think it's intentional so that uh, you are aware when something doesn't have a material set. What we can do is select, whoop. Oh my God. Fun. Okay, we wanna pick a glowing white orb. Now this is just a basic material. Uh, it's a legacy shader particle additive that I've created in the past. Um, it uses a very simple particle texture. It's just a white circle with a bit of fading out uh, on the edge of the circle. It's pretty easy to create. You could do it in less than a minute on Critter or Photoshop. Uh, and that's out of the scope for this tutorial. But uh, if anybody needs to know, uh, ask in the comments and I will send another video out uh, shortly after this one. Okay, coming back to our god rays, what we want to do is change the shape. I'm pretty happy with the emission so far, so let's just look at the shape itself and change it to a rectangle. And uh, actually, we want to keep it so it's facing us. Uh, we can widen the scale so that we have a much greater area where the particles spawn. Um, I want to align it the direction. Now you won't see uh, what this does yet, but we will very shortly. In fact, I'm going to leave that unchecked and I'll come back to it. Um, what we want to do now is change the start size. So uh, you actually could start with a much longer texture, uh, but since we started with an orb, we want to stretch it out ourselves. Um, let's do a 3D start size. And we're also going to add a little variety to this. So I'm going to uh, select between two constants. Uh, we want to make it much longer on the x-axis. And you could probably do it on the y-axis too. It doesn't really matter. It would just be uh, either tall ways or uh, long ways. But I'm just picking the x arbitrarily. Okay, so now we have much longer lines. Um, one thing we want to do is make some thinner and some a little thicker. And now we have ourselves some long lines that are spawning uh, in a nice five by five area, but they're very solid. So what we want to do is turn down the opacity. Now we could turn down the opacity like this, which we shall do, but there is a bit of an issue. Uh, this uh, gets on my nerves when I see particles uh, abruptly spawning and then abruptly going away when they are uh, done. What we want to do is have a gradual entry and a gradual recession. So we want to hit color over lifetime. And you'll notice we just have a plain white block here. Uh, the alpha is 255 on either end, uh, meaning for the whole time. So what we want to do is have a gradual increase from zero up to 255. So it's really easy to do this. I already have a preset down here, but I'll show you how to do this from scratch. Uh, you set the alpha to zero on the start and on the end and that's as simple as it is now if you want you can change the color down here but we're not going to do that so i'm pretty happy with that now you can see we actually have some nice gradual uh, fading in and fading out but they are staying in one place so um 
One thing I did have is speed, but since they are just shooting out or into the scene, I don't think it's doing anything, but I'm going to turn that off. The way I'm going to get the particles to move around is I'm going to turn on the noise. Now this is a little too crazy, so I'm going to turn down the strength. Uh, nope, not two, point two, And that's a little more to my liking. Now you can play around with the frequency and the strength, but I'm happy with them the way they are right now. And we're almost there. So what we want to do is not have these god rays coming in from the side. We want to have them coming in from an angle. If I turn this, you're going to notice something. The particles don't turn. And the reason for that is this checkbox I checked at the very beginning. Align to direction. If I were to check that, we now have the god rays tracking the rotation of the object itself. So I'm going to leave it at approximately 56 degrees, minus 56, doesn't matter. You could do it the other way, you could do it this way, um, however you want it. Um, play around with it at uh, the angle that you want. Now, how do you stretch it out over the, the scene? You just make your uh, shape uh, much bigger than what I've done. So we could do 12 and 12, and you have it over a much bigger area. You can even go bigger than that. Uh, knock yourself out. Um, how do you get this to follow? Now you could make the area as big as your whole scene, but that might be quite intense. Uh, the emission might not be enough to keep up and you have to keep uh, raising the number of particles that are emitted and it probably isn't the most performant. Uh, what I do is I usually attach this God rays particle uh, directly to my camera um, or something that the camera follows and that spawns as your character and therefore the camera moves around the scene. Um, so that's the basic idea of it. You can play around with it uh, by doing things like changing the color. If you want some red particles, go nuts. Now these are additive, uh, if you recall from the material that we use. So if you use something uh, halfway between white and red, you will uh, get a bit of additive effect and a little bit more glow. Now we could turn up the opacity a little bit and you will see that effect. Um, red is probably not the best one. I think in the scene I had a bit of an orangey uh, glow effect. So there you go. You can also add more colors if you want. So you could do uh, you could do a gradient or you could do uh, random between two colors. So in this case, we have some whites and some yellows. Uh, you want to turn down the alpha on these as well. And you get a nice uh, batch of god rays. Uh, if you want to have a lot of them, uh, you might have to increase the max particles. I know for a mission with 10 uh, per second, we're doing just fine. But if you raise them because you have a greater area, then you might have to raise the max particles to allow uh, more particles in the scene at any given time. So that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And see you next time.